Some of the fishermen here at the pier today tell me that they have been fishing for more than 40 years and never before have they caught a great white shark. So it's safe to say that this was a day they'll never forget. Look at that. Here's cell phone video of the big catch. Definitely a fish of a lifetime. Um, I could fish 50 more years and never get another one. Um, that's the first one I've ever seen, first one I've ever touched. Jeremy Utter was the one who reeled it in, a great white estimated to be 10 feet long and 700 pounds. At first, they thought it would be a more common mako shark that they could keep. Everybody out here had their knives and forks ready thinking, mako, we're going to have something to eat tonight. Ernie Polk is the captain of Team True Blue, a group of fishermen. He says they released the shark after tagging it. Nine feet, ten inches. Nine feet, ten. Oh, my gosh. That really tells the scientists that gives them a new story. They're like, whoa, wait a minute. That fish isn't supposed to be there. Why is it there, you know? Thomas Thillman is known around here as Shark Thomas. He works at the Navarre Beach Pier and helped bring it in. It took about five people. Oh, boys, please be careful. Honestly, it was just pure adrenaline. I was just kind of like, oh, I hope we get I hope we get this big joker to the beach. The data on the shark will now be shared with one of NOAA's research programs. Reporting from Navarre Beach, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.